Hello mga kids! Today, we will investigate the presence and the absence of oxygen in the material. Titignan natin yung epekto ng oxygen sa mga bagay sa ating paligid. Ano kaya ang epekto nito? First, what is oxygen? Oxygen is an odorless and colorless gas have been found in our atmosphere. 21% ng atmosphere natin is made of oxygen. Ito ay nakahalo sa hangin. At ang mga halaman ay nagbibigay sa atin ng oxygen. For this activity, these are the materials we need. Kailangan natin ng potato, apple, knife, candle, and glass. First step, slice natin yung potato into half. Same nung sa patatas, cut din natin yung apple sa half using our knife. Be careful lang sa pag-cut. After we slice the potato and the apple, let's observe after 5 minutes what will happen. As we look closer to the potato, if you will observe, yung pinaka-yellow part niya nagiging brownish part na. Same with the apple. Kung makikita nyo, yung fleshy part niya nagiging change from yellow, yellow or brownish. So, why it happened? Yung pagkapanis ng mga pagkain, yung resulta ng pag-react ng oxygen sa pag-enzyme ng pagkain. Ang tawag dito, oxidation. Oxidation is the combination of substance and oxygen. For the next activity naman, get the candle, light it using a lighter. Be careful, pwede magpatulong tayo sa matanda. Ngayon, lalagay natin siya sa may plate. Tayo lang natin yung candle. Then, kapag nakatayo na siya sa plate, kunin natin yung glass, cover natin yung lighted candle. Then, observe. As you look closer, ano nangyari? Nag-light off yung apoy ng candle. Namatay. Namatay na siya kasi nawala na yung presence of oxygen. One cause of fire is the presence of oxygen. Kapag wala nito, hindi magkukos na fire. Ang combustion ay tumutukoy sa proseso kung saan ang materials ay nasusunog because of the presence of oxygen. Combustible materials naman ang tawag sa mga gamit na madali mag-catch ng fire or mag-ignite ng fire. Example, wood and paper. Next naman, ito yung tawag natin, rusting. What is rusting? Rusting is the reaction of iron with the presence of oxygen in the air. Another example is yung pag-rust ng mga bubong natin or roof. Yung amount of rust formed in an iron depends on the moisture and humidity of our surroundings. To avoid rusting, these are the different ways we can do. First, let's keep it clean and dry. Second one, protect it from scratches. And third one, we can apply a protective coat like paint o pintura. Pwede natin i-apply yan para maiwasan natin yung kalawam ng mga bakal. And to see if you learn today, we will have an activity. Are you ready guys? For this activity, sasabi lang natin kung true or false. Kapag tama, true. Kapag false, mali. Okay, so let's ready. Number one, paper is a combustible material. 
Time start now. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The answer is true. Number 2. Rusting can be prevent using pain. Time start now. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The answer is true. Number 3. Oxidation is the combination of a substance with water. Time start now. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The answer is false. Rusting is a cause by reaction of iron with oxygen present in the air. Time start now. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. One. The answer is true. And number five, combustion refers to the process where materials burn due to the presence of heat and oxygen. Five, four, three, two, one. The answer is true. Today, we learn about the effects of oxygen in our materials. It may cause oxidation, rusting, and combustion. Maraming salamat mga kids! Hanggang sa muli with Teacher Dean!